part of me thinks that any backward looking data from the first three or four months of this year is something that we're going to have to um, pay relatively little attention to, to be very honest, because equity markets are looking forward at how we recover from the coronavirus situation. And a lot of what we've seen in markets has already discounted what's taken place um, at the economic level. Having said that, the data that you just talked about, particularly the, the export data, is very, very surprising. Now, partly that sounds like good news. This means that economies are maybe working better than one might have thought. But the other thing which immediately came to me is I would like to see what the trade surplus number with the US looks like. Because, of course, if the US uh, administration decides that actually these export numbers show that somehow China has been benefiting unfairly compared to expectations from the current situation, then that might lead to a ratcheting up of trade tension. And frankly speaking, that's the last thing that any of us need right now. Yeah, we do actually have that trade surplus number in yuan terms. I mean, this is coming in from the January to April period together, the trade surplus with the U.S. standing at 446.1 billion yuan. When it comes to the exports to the U.S., well, they were down about 16 percent, 15.9 percent once again in yuan terms from January to April. And imports from the U.S. were down 3 percent. So clearly exports had a larger drop than imports during that period. Where do you think this leaves us then? If you're saying this is the key concern or one of the key concerns, because that's what we're hearing from market players more and more here, that they are just so worried about the state of what's happening with the US-China blame game. Well, I think actually the key concern right now is um, whether we see a second wave of the virus here in Asia, because if we carry on with economic normalization, then an awful lot of other things will look after themselves. And then how the West and in particular the US follows Asia in this respect. Um, ultimately, the most important thing will be economics and the economic outlook for the rest of this year and for the beginning of next year will be determined by what happens with the coronavirus over the next couple of months. As for the geopolitics, I think that, yes, a, a ratcheting up of tension would be unhelpful. It's, it's, it's not something that any of us wants right now. Um, I'm not in a position to, to second guess that. I suppose the, the other thing that I would say is that by, by trying to identify companies which are relatively immune from what you call the blame game either way, then that's the best way to insulate portfolios from these sorts of concerns.